Hey everyone, welcome back to Playcrastination Population 132. Today I am so unbelievably excited to tell you slash show you uh, that we are starting a new series here at Playcrastination. Uh, this is Dark Souls 1, the original Dank Souls. I mean, it's not, um, what would you call that? It's not the Demon Souls, the like OG, OG Dark Souls. Uh, but this is the first game in the Dark Souls trilogy. And this is a game that has been heavily requested, and by heavily I mean uh, about two people have come to me and said I want you to play Dark Souls. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. That's a lot of requests from me. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start this up. Now I have tried to record this about 15 times so far. And every single time it corrupts the video for some reason. So this is try like 16, and maybe this one will work. I don't know. Um, as usual, we're going to go ahead and name our character. Dark Souls has a pretty dope uh, character creation, um, so I'm excited for that. We're going to go ahead and make our character... Uh, let's go ahead and be Blosh's Italian uh, cousin, Blashini. Uh, we're going to go ahead and be a male. We are going. So here's where my issues with Dark Souls are already starting. Um, I don't know what the best classes are in Dark Souls. I don't know what any of these actually mean. I, I see the stats down there. I don't know what the stats do. Basically, I played Dark Souls once about, um, probably like two or three years ago, and I got to like the second boss and couldn't beat it, and then I rage quit and never played the game again. But here it is, once again, I'm torn into Dark Souls. We're gonna go and be a warrior because it's the first class, and it, therefore you would assume is the most basic. Uh, the, uh, the gifts, I know that most people like the master key because it allows you to open doors as you go through the game, which is pretty helpful. Um, physique, obviously we're going to be freaking, give me the largest legs that a man can have. I'm somewhat tempted to like, I don't know if these do anything different with like, like, uh, your like ability to dodge roll or anything. I love tiny head, but let's just do large legs. I like the large legs. And, of course, you're going to get a ca character customization thing here, but we're going to go much more in-depth to this, so give me a couple seconds to uh, to get this going for you, and I will I will join you once our, our, our man is here. Alright, so for some reason our character has a nice little indentation. It almost revealed some of the nose. You don't need to see that yet. Uh, he has like a weird like indentation in his back. Perhaps it's a battle scar, but... Uh, so, for our character, uh, for Blashini, I went with, you know... Uh, basically, uh, in the past, I had, sp like, the first, like, seven times I recorded this, I spent, like, 45 minutes, um, like, perfectly shaping his face to make a weird-looking dude. Then I found out you could just click, uh, different, create different face over and over and over again, and then you end up with something like this. And it's wonderful, because his eyes look like a thigh master, like, and his nose is like the... I mean, it's like a penis, but but his eyes, basically, the, the eyebrows look like a thigh master on his head, and I love it. I don't really know how he became this strange, pukey green color, but uh, we're going to go ahead and go with... Oh, nope, change the hair. Nope, you got to go with bobbed. I thought I'd change something else about him, and I was going to cry. But yes, this is what we want, so let's go ahead and back out. Did he... He didn't keep it. He's not the same. He's not the same. Yes, he is. Why doesn't he look like it on this screen? Why is it his nose 60 feet long? Hopefully once we get in game, he is in fact the same. We're going to go ahead and accept this. Um, there's going to be a nice cutscene you can watch. I've watched the cutscene 47 times, so I'm going to like leave the room for a second to let it play and go throw up. But you can watch this if you enjoy lore. Here you go. This is for you. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame.
Nito, the first of the day. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the lord of sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. Gwyn's mighty gods peeled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death. Soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. All right, so there's the lovely cutscene that I've seen 47 times. But you know what? We are now in the dankest dungeon. We're in darkest dungeon. We are in who knows? This is like yes, the Prisoner of Azkaban indeed. or something. That's not a good reference to make, because I've never actually seen Harry Potter, so it's kind of fallacious. Uh, is that the word I'm looking for? Fallacious either means it's false, or like rooted in falsehood, or it means it's related to penises or phalluses. I can't remember. So hopefully it's not the dick one. What I'm looking for is to say I've never seen Harry Potter, so I shouldn't be able to reference it. But here we go. Oh! Legs are sore from volleyball. I can't feel anything. We are zooming into this cage. It is the prisoner basket. Please tell me our face is still janked up. Face. If this face went face. back to normal, face. we're just going to play with it because I do not feel like doing this. Oh, God, I hate mice because uh, I'm not doing it all over again. Are those like bugs in the corner that are crawling around? Bugs in the corner with the silver spoon. Little boy blue in the. It went back to normal. You stupid sausage. I don't say that about many sausages, but... Oh, thanks, man. This guy just dropped us dinner, so thank you, sir. Feed me tin. Uh, but there appears to be some sort of ghost fart coming out of his uh, beholster. Uh, okay, so we're going to stand up. I'm really peeved off that our face didn't stay as jacked up as it originally was. I mean, it's still gross. But it's pretty normal. It's just like a gross... Oh my god, I'm mad. Alright, so we're gonna take this, get the dungeon. You could have just thrown down the key, man. You didn't have to include a corpse with it. So right now we're only armed with uh like a like a like a hilt of a blade basically, which basically uh does as much damage as if you were like wielding a bop it and using it. Okay, so you'll have to forgive me. On the ground here, there's a lot of messages. They give you tips. This is the tutorial. You know, my first time through, maybe I'd spend a little more time enjoying the tutorial for what it you wanna touch me? You want to touch me there, man? Uh, oh, God, he's stuck on my feet. You know, maybe I'd do a little more exploration and enjoy it for what it is, but you know what? I'm still peeved off. Can we go in there? Oh! Hello, sir. I have never noticed that before. But that's pretty good foreshadowing. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to continue uh, away from that scary beast. 
I'm going to run through most of this, not like run through, like skip the enemies, but I know what I'm doing now. So I know the controls. Wow, that like sucked me into the wall. I kind of know what I'm doing, so we're going to kill these guys with this bop it. You're not dead. Now you are dead. And uh, we're going to get through this tutorial quickly so that I can see if this episode... I really am excited to start this series. It's just my... So far, the recording setup has just not been cooperating with me, and that's our biggest issue. Okay, so uh, bonfires in Dark Souls are kind of, I mean, it's just a sword and a pile of ashes, but apparently it's a bonfire if you want to call it that. I mean, I've never been camping, but I'm pretty sure we don't usually bring swords. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but from my understanding, I mean, not even my understanding. So, I've, like I said, I played Dark Souls before, so I kind of understand the uh, mechanics in it, but I don't really, if that makes sense. Excuse me, do not shake screen. Um... Bonfires basically uh, are like checkpoints. You can sit at them and you rest. And then, um, so after we do something, I'll talk a little bit more. So as you can see here, we're going to open this big door. And this is kind of a shame that I've done this like 15 times because we're going to lose a little bit of the element surprise. A, because like I can already see a giant tub of fat up there. But B, because the first time you come through, you're like, oh, I wonder what's behind this door. Let's go behind this. Holy shoot! And then you run away. And then you say, oh, God, it's Asylum Demon. And he hit me. No, 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 I'm not going to die. And then you run around the room and you're like, oh, God, I'm stuck on the pots. Shouldn't have smoked pot. Okay, keep going. But then eventually you run around and you go, Oh, okay, I see what I'm supposed to do. There's a little door here, and then you run in the door, and you go bye-bye. And you say, F off, buddy. Uh, but we can't... I think you get something special if you can beat him with the bop it, but I don't think we're going to bop him, so we're going to skip that. Um, so the bonfires, essentially, I think you can also, like, fast travel between them, but I'm not sure. That might be a later Dark Souls game. Oh, God, we got Katniss Everdeen up here. We're going to go ahead and pick up this shield and go ahead and equip it, like so. Do we equip it? We have equipped it. Alright, Katniss. Come on, buddy. Oh, you're gonna run? Dude, I gotta bop it. You have no idea what you're in for. But actually, we're gonna go ahead and pick up something a little bit better than the bop it right here. And switch it out for... No, 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 no. We're gonna go ahead and switch it out. So there's also... Obviously, Dark Souls is a, is a game that, you know, prides itself on being a very difficult game. Alright, come on, Katniss. I'm ready for you. Oh, call me Peter Malark, because I'm about to shove it in you. Um, actually, I guess that's Gale. But, uh, it's a game that touts itself on being extremely difficult for, you know, several reasons. Um, one such reason is that, so, the whole, uh, bonfire... Oh, God, free me. Um, okay, hold on, before I say this. If you know how to get this item, please enlighten me, because I've tried a hundred times and I can't get it. I'm not tall enough. Um, I'm not tall enough to fade away. Oh, another element of surprise gone. Oh, I'm gonna go up these stairs. I wonder what could be up there. Dodge roll! Oh, I didn't dodge roll, but we still made it away. Um, and this rock, this big testicle ball comes down and does this, and then it unveils this sad-looking man here whose lighting was messed up for oh, a second. You. We'll talk to him. And so, okay, so the reason Dark Souls is difficult. A, the enemies are just pretty, the AI is pretty good, the programming is good. B, boss fights are ridiculously hard. You're pretty much always working your way towards another boss fight. Um, hear you out, will I? Absolutely, I'll sell my soul to you, sir. How bad could it be? Regrettably. The devil got... I can't remember the devil went down to Georgia, but that's what it's about. Um... There was an old saying in my family. What else? Okay, so the bonfires, whenever you rest at them, they do fully heal you, but they also uh, respawn all of the enemies in the game. So essentially, Dark Souls is a series of checkpoints, if you will. The bonfires are the checkpoints. And you're trying to get from checkpoint to checkpoint so you can progress uh, without dying. It's it, But it's not as easy as it sounds. One more thing. Obviously, you pick up items along the way, Here, just like that the item he's about to bestow upon us. An Estus flask. An Estus flask, and which essentially uh, is like a delicious drink. It's a Dr. Pepper bottled, of course, oh, and it and uh, it basically heals you as you go, which is dope. Now, okay. Thank farewell. you so much. Uh, another big mechanic in Dark Souls is, you know what? We should put this guy out of his misery. I feel bad. Oh, he put him out, he put himself out of his misery, so I feel a little bit bad, but uh, at least we didn't have to kill him. So we're going to come down here. A big mechanic in Dark Souls is opening up shortcuts so that you don't have to go through all the craziness again. So as you can see, this is the bonfire we rested at before, and now we have a nice little shortcut here so that we don't have to go around the entire thing again. Instead, you can just do this, come up here, oh, and get ambushed by this guy that I was not ready for. Dude, he's freaking willy-nilly in me. Okay, so go ahead and drink an Estus Flask because I suck. 
this is the tutorial, by the way, but don't worry. I will probably... Oh my god, my guy keeps mounting the doors. It's not a good strategy in life. Um, as you can see in the top left, you got obviously... Oh my god. You've got obviously red for HP. No, 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 no. Okay, somehow that worked. You've got red, uh, which is your HP bar, and you have... No, 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 Cadmus. No, 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 no. You think you can get me, Deadeye? Um, and green is your stamina. Stamina controls things like rolling and, and using your sword, and basically it's your energy. And if you run out of energy, it's kind of like the old punch-out games. You run out of energy. Dude, I cannot do these backstabs. There has to be some sort of... Oh, God. Okay, so when you run out of stamina, obviously you get screwed, and you have to... When you're holding your shield, you regain stamina more slowly. Excuse me, that hurt me? Okay, there's a way to do, like, backstabs, but I don't really know how to. I'm not very good at it, but that's something we'll hopefully learn along the way. That's parrying. Is this backstab? Backstab is RB behind an enemy. Okay, we'll figure it out. We'll also drink an Estus Flask. We're also going to traverse the fog wall, which what you'll find many times in Dark Souls, a fog wall means is this man is back. Not this man specifically, but a boss fight. He's just going to look at us and be like, your move, bro. Oh, it's my... <gasps> I didn't know he could do that. Oh no. Okay. Oh crap. So what you're supposed to do there. Crap. What you're supposed to do there is jump on his head and hit him with your blade and you do like half of his health. Instead, I messed it up and now we have to try to kill this guy in full. Which is just great. Uh, but at the same time, I hate it. Okay, get the stamina, get the stamina. We also only have one S's flask. This guy's not that bad, though, so it, we should be able to do it. Is this an attack? Okay, it appears to be like a stun of some sort. Get the get the stamina back. Alright, there you go. You can't hit me. Is this a double attack? No, it was not a double attack. Get away from his butt. Oh, get away from his butt. Get the stamina back. Alright. There. Essentially, this guy has like one attack that I know how to dodge, and that's it. Does he go for a three on this one? He went for the three. Luckily, it didn't hurt us that bad. Cut him in the goiter. Get him right in the goiter. All right, do the jump. Do the jump. I can dodge the jump attack. Uh, I jumped right underneath him. There we go. We're getting close. We're getting close. Okay, go ahead and dodge. Bad dodge. Bad dodge. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Get the stand back. Get the stand back. Go ahead and roll out of the way. Go ahead and just take the last S's flask. You got this, man. You got this, man. You got the goo. All right. So, obviously, when you have your shield up, you'll block most of the damage. Uh, but it really drains your stamina. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. There you go. Alright, that's still hurt, apparently. Get him. Goiter him. Goiter him! Okay, we're getting close. That was bad. That was bad dodge. We didn't have to pay for it, luckily. That looks like he's done. Get him a couple more times. Get him a couple more times. There you go. There you go. He is very close. Okay, there you go. Is he going for a double? He went for the double! And we are almost out of stamina! No! Get him. Get him. Get him. Power attack him. Ooh, right up in your crotchal region. Okay. I'm pretty happy about that because even though I royally bunged that up. How do we get out of here? Got a humanity. Also, it said you defeated. I don't know who we defeat. Well, I mean, the asylum demon, obviously. So we're going to go through this door now because we're free and we've beat the tutorial. Um, Obviously, that's not exactly how you want to do that. <laughs> Ideally, you would jump down on him and uh, do most of his HP. Oh, it said we're going to come up this... Ugh. Wow. I quite apologize for that. I did it! Proud of you. How do we rate messages? How can I rate this message? Alright, instead I drank my empty bottle. We're going to come up here. We're going to stand on this little perch here. We're going to activate another cutscene. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for this Dark Souls series. Uh, if I can ever get it recorded. <laughs> um, because I know the game is extremely difficult. And I don't do well with rage games, typically. So for me, that's something that's going to be a lot of fun, is seeing me rage over and over and over and over again. To leave you know, hopefully we'll finish it, but uh, this is like one of the, rated the hardest games of all time, so maybe not. To the um, land of the ancient it's lords. also a lot harder because usually you can summon friends to come into your world and help you out. Um, but unfortunately, where are we going? Lordran. Um, unfortunately, uh, it's a lot more difficult because this is a very older game and not a lot of people are playing it. So it's kind of hard to find someone to, uh, to come and help you out. But, um, 
Maybe we'll find someone along the way. I don't know. I'm just hoping I can get this thing recorded. You know, I heard Dark Souls was hard. I didn't know the hardest part was getting it actually recorded. All right, so this bird's going to plop us down here. Thank you, sir. I'm so mad with how normal our guy looks. I hope there's a chance for us to change our person later. I like how he, like, stumbles all of a sudden. Oh, free items, man. Uh, go ahead and pick that up. Humanity, what is this thing on the ground? Read message. Imminent rear. You talking about that guy's butt? You want me to, like, mount him? Hold on, I know how to do this. Oh, you can raid it. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll give you a plus one, man. Uh, I don't know how I did that. We're going to go ahead and... No, no, no. I don't want to... I don't want to rate. I don't want to rate. I want to... No, no, no. No, no, no. I was hoping to, like... There it is! That's a booty, son! Okay, so that's going to be the end of this one. Actually, let's go ahead and level up. Ooh, look at that jump. What? Excuse me? Okay, there are still people playing this game, apparently. What does this one say? Good luck! Alright, we'll rate that. I'll rate that plus one. Basically, when you rate people's messages plus one, it gives you stuff, which is nice. Uh, so we're going to level up a couple times. Like I said, don't really know how to level up in this game. Um, I'm going to probably put mine in Strength, Dexterity, and Vitality because it's basically damage, dodging, and HP, if I remember correctly. And then we'll go ahead and say yes. Confirm. So you pay for level ups with souls. Uh, whenever you kill something, uh, you get souls. You get a bunch for killing bosses. We have 10 Estus Flasks now. You want to go, son? Don't you ghosty goo around here. Um, but that's going to be the end of this one. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this recorded correctly. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe to become a citizen of Playcrastination today. Next time we're going to murder this bowl cut having mother. Can't steal my haircut. He doesn't actually have a bowl cut. But if you're excited for the series, please show some support uh, to you know motivate me to continue going through these technical... Can I jump in there? Continue uh, through these technical difficulties... Uh, please, please, please show some support in the form of liking, sharing, who cares as long as we can get some people into this. But I'm excited, uh, and I'm going to see you guys uh, next time for some more Dark Souls.